everyone welcome to another video my name is Sanjay Prakash and today in this video I will discuss about an important topic how to debug canvas apps most of the times when we publish canvas apps uh, if in the wrong time uh, people are you know getting error and they don't find the root cause of the error then debugging is the best practice Microsoft already introduced a monitor tool for canvas apps for this debugging tool right so you can let, let's say this is my uh, app right and this app is already live how to see that whether it is live or not you can click and click on details and check the version here and in the version you will find that <coughs> the uh, latest version is live now people are using this but when people are using this uh, they are getting some issue what is the issue let us say let, let me tell you the issue first the people are the uh, people who are using this uh, app they are going to a uh, account and try to update the employee account let's say 900 and save when they put 900 and save they are getting this error network error when using patch function the requested operation is invalid you see this requested operation is invalid is very generic and I, I don't know what is the root cause right so in this type of error it is best practice that as a developer you should debug it and uh, monitor it to identify the root cause so that you can take proper strategy or proper um, solution right now let us go and try to debug it Microsoft has introduced a option called as monitor tool first I will tell you how to use that monitor tool uh, using published or live apps then I will tell you how at the time of authoring uh, the canvas apps we can use that monitor tool now this is the uh, app canvas app which is already published now i want to debug it so click on this and click on monitor this monitor tool tool will help you to identify or to monitor the granular activities that your app is performing you see now it is connecting to a session and it is connecting to a published app now you can to start with uh, you can click on this play published app this play published app will open the app which is latest published and it is recording the information the analytics or monitor activities you see the left, left top corner you will find a red icon that icon is there means you uh, understand that this is the mo it is monitoring now let me go and try to update the euro account let's say this is the account and I am trying to update uh, let's say 800 or 8900 and save it you see here it is saved and the error is same error is it is populating now if I go to the monitor tool I will get more information you see it is giving all details step by step operations that you performed till now okay and every result is success but here there is some warnings and here there is some errors you see now this is the error we are getting what we are getting so click on this error and try to identify the request and response you will find every step every step the monitor tool captures is having different types of values details value right if you go to the error network error which is operation patch row what i have done i am trying to update the account with the employee account then it is throwing error so i have used page function that's why it is showing page row and showing error now what is the formula we have written the formula i have written is this right i am trying to patch accounts uh, which is uh, the target account is the gallery selected and i am updating number of employees to the text input value the formula looks correct but when the request is sent you can also identify the request information which url is trying to hit and what met uh, what data is passed right everything is there here the body is passed with the uh, number of employees right so this is the request object that has been sent to the web api now what is the response we are getting you see the response we are getting here is error what is the message this is the exact message value should be less than or equal to 500 that means there is a business rule or there is a uh, validation written in dataverse uh, 
to throw an error if the number of employees value is greater than 500 that's the reason it is showing error now user cannot get this exact error here but if you debug you can understand here so what is the solution once you understand you can uh, set the uh, maximum length of the text right to be 500 or something or you can do some uh, validation in the canvas app to restrict the value to 800 right so that's what you can do so you can check so the monitor tool can be used to debug the uh, you know and you see once this error is error is triggered from the server now the next error it is showing this one okay this is a this is the second error right the first error is caught here which is not displaying but as because of this error the second uh, error is displaying this this is the, actually the error which is displaying to the user right but if you debug you can get the exact error right now how to handle this right to handle this you can edit the canvas app right you have to open the canvas app in uh, editing mode then you have to uh, check a condition by you know in the page function let me tell you how what is the solution so i got the error that this is throwing error because of some business rule implemented in dataverse to 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 restrict the number of employees to be equal to 500 or less than that so let us go and uh, uh, edit that let me edit that so i have to handle the validation before passing to the to the page function right now let me go and uh, handle that so these type of unhandled express exceptions should be debugged properly through monitor tool then take corrective actions uh, then publish your app right so i'll go to the screen and try to go to this uh, save icon and try to write a if clause right if i can write down if the value of text input is greater than 500 then what i want to do if it is smaller than 500 or equal to 500 i want to do patch if it is not smaller than equal to 500 i want to notify user okay what i want to notify value must be less than or equal to 500 so i have added another level of validation here so that it will not give the runtime error right now let me test this i can test this here also let me go here and try to update let's say i want to update 980 and save you see value must be less than equal to 500 and the page function is not executing because this is the else part of the if clause and if you give 400 then there will be no error right so it will directly update the database no error right so the point i just want to make here is to debug a published app you can use the monitor option and identify what is the root cause by using the response option and you can check right and at this point also before publishing your app also you can check that how you can check that let me reverse the uh, formula i have written here i will just use patch i'm just trying to reverse the uh, logic i have written just patch okay now this will throw error right so before publishing this app how can i monitor here so that uh, i can fix at this time while designing the app and publish this so for that you have a tool here monitor tool you can directly open the monitor tool which will be connected to your power app studio uh, instance and it will debug right now it is it opened now you can start interacting with your event let me run and try to give 1000 and save it the error will throw now you can go to the uh, monitor tool and you can check you see the error is coming 
and if you go to response the same error is coming right so this is at the time of authoring your canvas app you can troubleshoot and handle it properly then publish it, publish your app but if you have skipped this monitoring tool uh, at the time of authoring your canvas app then it is best practice to uh, debug your uh, uh, debug your canvas apps uh, for the published app but before that you have to enable the feature using the settings just click on the setting left uh, bottom corner and scroll down to enable this debug published app so you have to enable this otherwise you cannot debug a published app so you understand how to debug a canvas app whether it is published or whether it is uh, on on the can authoring canvas or not published mode so this monitor is very very useful and make use of this to understand how uh, the activities download activities are running uh, in background whenever a user interacts with canvas apps okay so thank you everyone for watching this video i hope it will help you in your project and next time i will uh, prepare a video for test how this testing how to test a canvas app right so that is also very important using monitor tool i told you and using test i will tell you in later video thank you everyone bye and if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel it will help you in your career thank you bye